Hey YouTubers, so today I'd like to demonstrate how I tie my own spinning rigs for back trolling on the Spanish River. This is a proven method, I've been using this method for 20 plus years and uh, I find it works, it tops everything else. I tie my own because they can get rather expensive. When you buy the Northland tackle ones they're uh, $4.19 a unit. So without further ado, I'll show you what I use when I tie my rigs here. So what we've got is about a 30 inch length of 14 pound test monofilament line and a little Colorado blade. They're about three quarters of an inch in length. Some beads that you buy. I bought these particular ones at Moxie's Bait and Tackle on Highway 55, Lively, Ontario. And I'm going to use for the first time these Matsuo sickle hooks. They're an octopus hook. Uh, I'm going to use one number two as a leading hook and one number six as the trailing hook. So there's my components. And you'll also see here I have a little quick change clevis. I hope this is focusing. Those are crucial because you were trying to color and it's not working and your buddy's got another color on. You don't want to untie and mess around. So you just snap the blade off, pop a new one on and uh, Bob's your uncle. So without further ado, let me see how I can give you guys a good view of how I'm going to be doing this here. So I've got my two hooks in the bowl here. I'll adjust my tripod. Right about there, I think. We'll try that. So I take my monofilament line. I take the number two hook and I thread it in to the eyelet and I pull out about nine inches of line. Then I'll make a loop here. And leave the tag end stick out about half an inch. My loop of line is about two inches in diameter. Then I just start wrapping one, two, three, four. Then I'll tuck those wraps up to my left thumb and forefinger and just hold them loosely. Five and six. And again, tuck them loops up. Then I'll just drag, grab the tab, tag end rather, and just pull the line. As I'm holding everything in my left hand, the hook and the wraps loosely. Then I'll snug that up. Okay, so I've got my first of the tandem hook set up, tied into the line here. Then I'll take my number six Madzu sickle hook and repeat the process. This one's got a smaller eyelet so bear with me while I... okay I've got it threaded. So what I want is about an inch and a half between the leading hook and the trailing hook. About that much distance. An inch and a half, two inches maximum. Oops, she slid on me. Right about there. And then again I'll just hold the hook loosely and make a loop. So I grab the line over here, just push it and it wants to naturally form a loop. Okay, and I'll leave just a little bit of line sticking out, maybe three-eighths of an inch, quarter to three-eighths of an inch off the end. And again, just start wrapping. One, two, three. Tuck those wraps under your thumb and forefinger in your left hand and continue. Four, five, six wraps and again tuck them up 
just grab your tag end and pull gently as you're holding that loosely between your thumb and forefinger. Pull everything tight and there you have it, a tandem hook setup. Now it's just a matter of sliding some beads and the other components on. Oh, I'll get my nail clippers, I should have had them out. What I find is very crucial here when you're fishing the Spanish River or the any inland lake is you have to cut your tag ends short because they will pick up debris and they'll wrap around your main line and just ruin your fishing experience. So I cut that right short. So there's very little that can get snagged to it. Then it's a matter of putting on beads. So I've got five beads, one glow in the dark, two multifaceted uh, dark green and two chartreuse and I've got a floater bead. So I'm going to start by a chartreuse, thread that on for you, follow it up by a multifaceted dark green bead, and then the floater bead. Another dark green multifaceted bead and one more chartreuse. Okay. Now I'm ready to <clears throat> install the quick change clevis with the blade. You'll see that these quick change clevises have a tapered edge on one side and a square or blunt edge on the other side. So the tapered ed edge should point away from your hooks. So you open the little loop there and you pop your blade on. So you want the concave side sticking out on the same side as the loop and the convex side sticking in. Now you take your line and you just pop that through or thread it through and let it go down to the beads and that's what my rig's going to look like as it trails in the as it uh, trolls in the water. And just for contrast and a little bit of a whoops attraction when you're fishing the uh, later evening, I like to put one glow-in-the-dark bead in front of the clevis and blade assembly. So there you have it. Hope that's coming up. So this this setup spins at any speed. And now I want about a 16 inch long rig from the, the trailer hook right to the end. So I'll fold the line in half at about that distance or double the line. Double the line and make a simple under and through loop. And only make that loop about half an inch in length because if you make it too big it'll pick up the brie in the bottom and tangle up onto your main line and your swivel and everything. And again I just clip the tag end right close to the knots. And there you have it. You can make your own for about a buck seventy-five so you're saving over two dollars. And these are proven to work. I've caught thousands of fish on these. So thanks for watching and hopefully you'll learn to tie your own as I've demonstrated and get out there and catch your limit of pickerel in no time. Talk to you later.